Mono Red Belcher is easily one of my favorite decks to play. Vindictive Flame Stoker is so much fun. You have not played. Be Okay, at the request of Discord user B3Money, aka Brandon, uh, I have a dealer's choice Belcher. So he said, whatever Belcher I enjoy most. He had a preference saying he would like me to play Beseech or that that would be cool. However, uh, going off the first request of what I enjoy most, honestly, it's just mono red Belcher. This is a deck that I had messed around with a little bit and it just didn't quite have the juice required to get there because you kind of had to run a lot of Bergy and the problem is you can't run Soul Lands in your main deck because you're playing Belcher and it was just too hard to uh, net mana. And occasionally that still is the case. However, since you're not playing lands aside from Smashing and I go off and on whether I want to play the Volcanic, I'm going to play it tonight. Um, but because of that you have so many new slots that you otherwise wouldn't have when building these sorts of decks you can play a card like vindictive flame stoker now if you haven't seen this one it's pretty sweet one red it's a one two whenever you cast a non-creature it gets an oil counter and if you manage to get six oil counters on it it only costs one red to activate the ability which is you discard your hand you draw four cards so as you can see, we cast a lot of non-creature spells, and we get up to one mana draw four quite often. And we dump our hand, so the whole discarding thing is not an issue, and it gets out of hand very quickly. So, I mean, the deck is pretty self-explanatory, right? A bajillion zero drops, and it's a gamble, echo, belcher, grape shot deck, and we're relaying. It's basically fueled by the power of Gamble, Echo, and Relay, and then it has the additional action in Stoker, and of course just naturally casting Belchers. I do have the one Bergy because I do want access to that effect. I used to play two so that you can potentially have the front and backside, but it's just, like I said, very difficult to cast, and I think I, I want a chance to run into it while you're wheeling, because if you think the Epic Gamble wheels a lot in a single game, <laughs> wait till you play a deck with four gambles and four echoes so i'm stoked i usually play kind of the sideboard juke plan where when we're playing against blue i just bring in empties and soul lands and then we just have a bunch of storm cards i just take the belchers out sometimes i leave in one depending on the matchup if it's a slow enough like if it's like control you just leave the soul lands in with the belchers and you can what i like to call slow belch Slow belch means uh, you don't expect to kill them with your activation, but you do expect enough time to be able to activate multiple times. Every now and then you just do kill them. Especially since we're doing chip damage with stokers, with grape shots, bergy, sometimes monkeys. Every bit counts with this deck, as you do randomly just kill them with grape shots or attacks or short belchers sometimes. And then of course to get under hate, we just have Leyline of Anticipation. You bring them in, you take the lands out, voila. We could play it in the main deck. That would be sweet. Maybe we should. You know what? Let's do it. That's the fun way to do it. That's definitely the fun way to do it. And we just take the lands out. And then if these aren't good or we wind up on the play, we can just bring the lands back in. It's like the same boarding, except we're just pre-boarded for this. The thing about this card, when you have it in your sideboard, is you're... Oftentimes not, because you only use it on the draw, right? And if it's in your sideboard, you're never going to have this card two games on the draw. Because if you're on the draw, that means you lost game one. <laughs> and if you lose again, you're not on the draw, you've lost the match. 
So like at most you wind up playing with it for one game. It just feels like a waste. This way, two things. One, we have the potential to make use of it when we lose the die roll. And secondarily, we have cards that really take advantage of, even if we're on the play, this effect. So if we're on the play and we have a bunch of baubles, we get to draw on their turn and just go off. This card is really good with baubles. And relay, for that matter. You can typically, right, this is the problem with baubles and relay. Baubles are really good at setting up relay. And if you have the time, they can just accrue absurd amounts of value for your relays. But the problem is, the same problem if you relay into relay, which is oftentimes busted and broken, but sometimes is just, you know, if you're facing down lethal or your opponent's a combo deck, it's, it's not always going to work out, and baubles compound that issue. However, so I, normally, say you have a bunch of baubles, you play a bunch of baubles, they activate, you know, you run into relay. Now you got to wait for your turn to, to happen, and now you got to relay, and then you got to wait another turn, and if you have a bunch of baubles in that relay, it's like this just, it, the can just keeps getting kicked down the road. But baubles, you have them in your opener, you use it, they pop off on your opponent's turn, you pop off and relay, you untap and you get to, it's an entire turn that it saves you. It is huge, absolutely huge. It would be reasonable to even assert that you should play it on the, in, on the play, like willing, uh, on purpose. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this Valk now that I'm playing Leyline. Could just play another Metamorphose instead. I think I will actually at this point. Okay, and we have a couple Shattering Spree to be able to get out of Chalice on zero, mostly. Mostly that's what it's there for. But hopefully we just get some sweet Ley Line of Anticipation action! This deck is way too much fun. I'm stoked, hope you are too. And if you enjoy my content, obviously hit the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But scroll down to the description and check out the links for my Patreon. I have all sorts of sideboard guides for the decks that I make. The main decks that I make, the Epic Campbell, Black Saga Storm, Mono Blue P.O., and Jewel. Uh, I've written an article, so that's on there. I will continue to write articles. And in a couple of months, I'm going to be attempting, I'm going to be taking my stab at going full-time. So, obviously not a requirement, but every bit helps. I'm definitely going to be poor as shit, <laughs> so I'll need the help. And do please check out my new podcast, we're about five episodes in. It's myself, Killer Bee, Punishing Waterfalls, and Newton. Uh, next episode, episode six, is our first guest appearance, who will be none other than Bosch and Roll, Brian Koval, the man, the myth, the legend, followed by, for episode seven, it's going to be Cyrus CG, a storm player that I've always looked up to and have since become acquainted with in regards to storm strategy and the patreon will also give you access to my members discord which is an extremely lively discussion on whatever the latest um serious attempt at creating something new that i am embarking on right now it's jewel obviously i'd say there's about there's at least a dozen players who are really jamming grinding and discussing we're, we're really trying to work the kinks out and that member's Discord is within the Storm Discord. Obviously, the Discord link changes, so that's not in the description. But you can ask around. You can easily wind up getting the invite to the Storm Discord. You can ask me. I'll send it to you. And then if you're signed up on the Patreon, you'll have access to that member's discussion. As well as early access to videos, by the way. All right. I'm going to stop with the plugs. We're going to get to it. I'll see you in round one. All right, here we are in round one and playing against Nagi W, and we got a pretty sweet hand here. We're already on the play, but Leyline doesn't have no text. It does have text, even if we're on the play. As discussed in the deck tech, we're able to leverage bobbles and relays so much better. This is interesting. So I can play Petal Stoker. Petal... Hmm. Kind of messes us up. We can go Petal... Petal, Opal, Stoker. I think I'm just going to do that on the end step. I don't think there's much reason to do it right now. Because we're not actually going to pop off. We need to untap. Prismatic Vista. Let's go Petal, 
Petal. Opal. Stoker. Hopefully they don't have a swords. Hmm. It's actually not a great draw. We wanted to draw a mana. That prevents us from being able to echo here. However, I guess I don't mind having two. Let's attack. I'm just going to pass. Swamp. Nothing. Classic. Notably a 1-2. Doesn't die to Bowmasters. I like that. Having said that, there's probably a Bowmasters right here waiting for us. Play another Stoker. I'm stoked. Alright, that's mana. It doesn't trigger the Flame Stokers, which is a bummer, but still mana. Campbell. Go get Echo. I would imagine Bowmasters is going to sweep up these Stokers. Yep. At least it'll pad our life total. Okay. Eh. Interesting. You can just do this in response. Oh, baby. Okay, they are targeting to kill. But thanks to Leyline, <laughs> we just don't care about these. That's awesome. We're just going to have a bunch of triggers on the stack, like, all the time. So we're going to start drawing some cards. All right, these dudes are maxed out. I think what I want to do... I shouldn't have the mana to do that. I know he's Grape Shot, but I don't... I think that's kind of the coward's play. I think, I guess I could have... No, I need the mana from this. Gamble. Gamble doesn't help me too much. Red. I need LED. Chromox is not bad, actually. Play Chromox. I'm going to imprint Leyline. Yeah. And I could gamble for Echo here. I think I will. Get that one ready for us, and then we can... Activate one of these stokers. Put Echo in the bin. Continue to ignore these Bowmasters triggers. One, two. Pretty close to belching, but not quite. Let's go in on this stoker. Get him up with this bauble. Get after it with this LED. Now here's a question. Do we stoker or do we echo? I'm going to stoker. Hardly know her. So relay is not exactly an option. <laughs> with all these triggers. Um, so let's go for the Manamorphose. Oh, Rite of Flame is a great draw. We'll play that one. Go for Spirit. It's Echo. Because now, now we've got a couple things here. We have enough enough Storm where Grape Shot is lethal. We also have three red. Um, three, four, five, six. It means I'm one shy of Belcher. Oh, there's a Grape Shot, sorry. Easy game. Rate of Flame, not to mention the Stoker we have here. Rate of Flame. Bobble. Let the mana stack up. <laughs> this is so sweet. So sweet. <laughs> uh, what a way to win. What a spectacular way to win. I gotta get a screenshot. Just to send it to Brandon. Okay. So we saw Swamp Planes, Bowmasters. So it's Orzov, Death and Taxes. Ew, that's going to be tough. Um, I want Ley Lines to get under their bullshit and be able to make use of our Bobbles, which means I don't want Lands. Yeah, that just means we're running it back. Okay, we have the Ley Line. I mean, if they have Deafening Silence, we lose. We have to have an actual turn one. Or at least, like, wheel them out of their Deafening Silence. They are on 80 cards, which means they have it more often, in my experience. <laughs> um, otherwise, it's not, like, a terrible speculative hand, but it's not great, right? Not really close to belching. We get an extra draw to find, like, Gamble or LED, but I think I just want a mulligan. All right, this one is better. We're still obviously in trouble to Deafening Silence, but that's just something we got to live with. They don't have it. Hopefully they don't have Trap. Or Dark Ritual. Bobble, Bobble. Spirit Guide. Well, I guess not yet. We'll play LED. Spirit Guide. And spin it. Hey, it just happened. Okay, we have a nice relay. Can't really do better. Which may or may not be fine. Let's imprint um, Stoker as Metamorphose. See if we can spike an LED or at least some more mana. Hey, that's mana. Could play Belcher. 
Let's hope to draw into some more mana. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Uh, let's bobble. Planes. That doesn't quite help. Bobble. No guarantee they're keeping this card, but Recruiter, that's fine. I'll just relay for eight. And hope they don't play something too damaging. Uh, that's something too damaging. Come on. Wield them into trap in their 80 card deck. I told you. I told you they're more likely to have it. And we get Thought Seized. So otherwise, we weren't in terrible shape. Like, it was our turn one, and we still had six cards going here. We only put ourselves down a couple of cards, gave them a random draw, and took a Mind Break Trap to the teeth. But we also got Thought Seized. Uh, okay. So we have an Echo here. We took the Belcher. Definitely going. Not going to wait around for them. This might have similar results as what we just did, which is having to pass the turn. Come on, man. We wheeled them into double trap? I'm just, I'm speechless. <laughs> oh, boy. Honestly, it's it's good enough for me. I just, I don't, I don't have it in me to make it the rest of it. I don't. Okay. So, I mean, that's a problem. The fact that they're running that many traps is definitely a problem. Unless they just are only running two and we happen to run into them. Um, no, we can't do it. This one is definitely better. This one's great. We can play around trap really well, too. If they wind up with a ley line, I just I give up. They're just playing that many traps and ley lines. You know what I mean? Because we, we get to end step, play all this stuff out, and then just untap maybe we're on the play but let's go oh in fact we can just we can play these out and then go off on their upkeep oh that's so good that's so good i played those in the wrong order but unlikely to matter i should have played led and opal first because they can't get trapped i don't actually want one of those to get trapped although they're so unlikely to actually trap one of those so i guess i could bobble the only thing is I'm not, I'm not casting anything. It'd have to be like Spirit Guide. Because I'm not going to cast a Ritual Gamble and then just play it back into Trap. You know what I mean? I guess I'll just hold these baubles. Might need them. Oh man. Leyline playing around Trap. I freaking love it. Love it. Um, but, I mean, 100% chance that we draw them into two traps, right? Uh, this is not particularly good. I think I'm into going... We're not going off right now, so I'm going to let them go. See what they want to do here. I'm going to play a Vile. Okay. No Thought Seize. I like that. I'm going to go... Right of Flame off the Spirit Guide. Play both Stokers. They're going to Solitude. I mean, I can do these in response, but there's no point, really. I really don't mind this. I'm going to pitch a Thalia. And two of their cards are gone. I guess at this point they're less likely to have a uh, trap. Alright. Oh, you know what we could have done last turn? I gotta play with this card more. The heuristics and just play patterns are so uh, unintuitive, right? Like, we could have bobbled, and then with the bobble trigger on the stack, went off. And then we still get to draw that card post-echo, and still play around trap. That was definitely what we should have done. And it's a pretty sweet play. I right, get a little info here. Thalia, okay. Um, maybe I should have bobbled myself first. I mean, there's no world where I'm not bobbling. Right? Like, we need to find spells for the Stoker. There we go. Ew. Not great. Definitely not great. Wasteland, don't care about that. Okay, so Thalia is going to be in play. Unless we had some... I don't think there's any one piece of action. Okay, I mean, that's a decent draw. Our hand is garbage. It's all top end and ley line. <laughs> yep. The problem here is we're not going to be able to grape shot this. They have Caracas, Wasteland, one unknown. Ooh, or are we? No. We still can't cast it. Okay. You can cast it next turn, but they're going to have Caracas up and Vile, so we can't even target it just to get rid of it for one turn, because they're going to have it 
ready and waiting with vial. Should I imprint for blue? Yeah, I guess. Not looking great. All right, Thalia's getting in. Only have three cards. Morphos. We've seen worse draws. Anything that gives us an oil counter and still draws a card is pretty good. I love that. You hit red, and then it just completely changes the layout so that it's difficult to click, and you have to spend more time doing it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're supposed to play it out. What I would really like to draw is some sort of mana source to be able to play Belcher. I think that's our out here. We have four. Also, if they tick up their vial to three... Okay, so they aren't. Do they not have this wasteland? I guess they don't really have a high incentive to play it, but maybe I messed up and they shuffled it away or something. I'm not sure. If we really need to, we can activate Stoker. Okay, that plays Belcher. All right. There are a number of cards that does stop this, but if they don't have any of them, they are dead. Uh, <laughs> this is not what I had in mind, but... Exile target non-land permanent opponent controls and all tokens that player controls with the same name as that permanent. Didn't see that one coming. Hmm. All right, they still have Caracas and Violon too. This is exactly the scenario in which and why I play or bring in Pithing Needle with PO against this deck. It's like you just you have to. You don't want to. <sighs> is it even worth? I guess it's worth playing Bobble. Play Bobble. We could attack first. Sure. Let's get in. And can I draw? I can. Okay. It bobbles out. Not quite dead yet. Bowmasters. I don't like that. I do not like it. But at least I get to draw these. Okay. Those are pretty good. Those are good draws. Alright, they're just going to play it. That's a Belcher. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know how risky we want to get. You could gamble for a Rite of Flame here. Rite of Flame is big. If Rite of Flame doesn't hit Belcher or itself, it's 2 6. There's a 66% chance to win next turn. Is there anything stopping me from doing it on their end step instead? I guess Oppo Agent? Might as well just do it now. I do think this is worth it. It lines that diamond. That's okay. Now next turn we're gonna have we're gonna end step this pedal into play. We're gonna have four. This right of flame makes plus two. So that's six. Lion's eye diamond will put us to five, which means we can play Belcher. Alright, we got a pretty solid plan here. It's not as though there's nothing they can do to stop it, but I think we're heavily favored from this position. All right, we go to 10. Yorian's fine. This flickers Bowmasters. And I was going to say, if they do Thal Thalia for no reason, they're dead on the spot. Like, even more dead. Let's play Petal. This kind of plays around Trap. I can play around Trap by just playing out LED. I shouldn't have played that Petal. Not that it matters, but I can just play LED now. Then I can go... Right of Flame Belcher, and LED's in play. Yeah. That plays around Trap. Don't care about Bowmasters. We're way behind on clock, because I'm speaking about these lines at length. So I am going to actually apologize to my opponent real quick. All right. We got the Right of Flame. I just apologize to them for taking so much time on the clock, saying that there's a lot of talking going on in the YouTube video. They said, never mind! Exclamation point. I think... My guess is that's language barrier, and they're basically saying no worries type of thing. Cool. All right. We got them. Want to know? See you in round two. All right. Here we are, round two against Great Ape. We are on the play with a ley line, so we are double on the play. We are so on the play right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. We can go for it, which, I mean, you know me. I'm inclined to do so. However... Going for it means Chromox imprint gamble for LED for a 1 in 5 chance to lose, so 2 in 10, so 80% chance to echo. I think we have a higher percent chance to just mulligan into a hand that guarantees an echo, or just a hand that's better. I think this qualifies. 
It's a little slower, but I'm gonna put Grape Shot away. We can start with Stoker off a of Spirit Guy, go Petal, Bobble, Opal, and then probably activate it next turn. Um, maybe I should have just held Grape Shot because it might be a castable that can give us another oil counter that can kill something. But we're kind of close to Belcher. And it's probably better against Discard to have a threat. I don't know. Petal's in. Stoker's in. They seem to be kind of F6th. Bobble. Opal. Okay. And I'm going to use Bobble. You just, that's. There's going to be very few situations where you're not using Bobble. That's an Archon of Amiria, not what we want to see. Um, Belcher is a good way to beat Archon. But having said that, it doesn't seem as though we're in a great position to Belch. Please don't play Archon. Tapped. Yes. Yes. Give me LED. I'll take that. That's fine. I'm not greedy. Alright, we'll play this pedal. And we're definitely activating here. Uh, are we? Oh, that's a tough question. Is there gonna Archon? We basically have the card that we want, and we're one mana shy of casting it, and then we just don't really care about Archon. The problem is we can't cast it off of Rite of Flame. We can cast it off of Spirit Guide. We could wind up with, like, Fromox and an Imprintable. Imprint and Wait. This is really tough. I think I'm going to look at the top of our deck. That's not a good one. I'm not excited to Stoker into that. Um, Also not excited to just naturally draw it. I, I think we're supposed to Stoker. Kind of a bummer. Damn. I mean, I think we're supposed to hope to spike mana. The only problem is they're going to Archon here. We did spike mana. It's a relay for six. Okay... Oh, that would have been so good. It's a lethal belcher. Maybe they just somehow can't play Archon. Don't have a spirit guide to go with it? There's no way they don't, right? Petal, spirit guide, something? There's no way they're just passing. Maybe. Like, why else would you be thinking here? Just spend the man in Archon, or... Oh my god! Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. End step. Touch my Chromox? That's not gonna be enough. What is going on? What just happened? Mm-hmm. Well, you done, son. <laughs> okay, cool. So now we get to play Leyline on the draw again. So this is the scenario where Leyline kicks ass, right? Like, we had it in game one. It wasn't of use, admittedly, but it could have been. You know, it's a 50-50, you're going to be on the draw, and it gives you a reasonable chance that you're basically going to be on the play and the draw, and to take advantage of your baubles and relays like we talked about. And if you win game one, you're now rewarded by being on the draw and being able to leverage the card for more than just one game. Let's go. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 I need the Shattering Sprees. I'm just not, I just didn't, I wasn't paying attention, sorry. I said let's go, but I was kind of spacing off. I meant it when I said let's go, I just, we're not supposed to be going. <laughs> Alright, this one probably echoes, but we're looking for Leyline. Huh. This one has an echo. They've mulled the five. Maybe we keep because they're not going to have a turn one lock piece. Eh, it's probably still ill-advised, though, right? Here we go. Oh, yes, rewarded! Immediately rewarded! Oh, okay. So, especially if they go to four, we are going to let them go. Because if their hand is such that they don't play a lock piece, then we can end step our echo. If we go now and we fizzle, we give them seven cards. Two cards on the bottom. Just bottom these belchers. Sorry, I didn't have the card description going. Right now it's there. Put this ley line into play. Now we do get punished if they play a lock piece and then it forces us to go off and then we fizzle. But they might just go land go here. You know? Well, they have an archon. Alright, well, we're going. Swing! Okay. So we can go Stoker. Bobble, Opal, Gamble. Stoker's risky. Hmm. Do we have to... G Maybe we have to go for the risk. 
We can't actually remove this card. <laughs> uh, it's a two-thirds gamble if we want to put Stoker into play. Much better if we don't, but then again, it's not really a great echo if we don't. So let's go. If we miss, we're basically dead, which is fine. Not dead. Absolutely not dead. And now we have a very good chance of getting there because we got this one all oiled up. Oh, this is not great. This is really bad. It's really bad. Astonishingly bad. We literally just have to activate Stoker. That's all we have as a play. Hit some LEDs, please. We deserve it after that bullshit. Okay. Opal LED. We gotta respin it. Come on, big spins, big spins. Okay, that's one, two, three, one shy of Belcher. So we're gonna do Stoker stuff. I do like doing Stoker stuff. Can't really afford to Metamorphose. So we go Stoker. We go Chromox. Imprint Metamorphose. Cast Rite of Flame. I don't know about you, but I'm having a good time. <laughs> I know my opponent isn't. I mean, if this lands, they're in there, but <laughs> uh, I guess I make blue or pink three. Come on. Oh, yes! We did it! <laughs> uh, this is why this is my favorite Belcher deck, okay? This is why. <laughs> and you thought you were on the play? <laughs> What's better? Name something better. You can't. You can't. Oh, jeez. All right. We're 2-0. See you in round three. All right, here we are in round three against Solid Snake 408. We're on the play, and we have a ley line, so double play again. We are so on the play. All right, we're in there. We're keeping this hand. I might just pass. And see if we can manage to get a draw step in. And if we, if we really have to, we can just go. There is downside to it. If we go and then we wind up uh, with a bunch of baubles, we lose the opportunity. Like, if we go now, we can use those baubles. Maybe I go now. Like, a draw step would have to yield an initial red source. A non-opal initial red source. Yeah, I'm just going now. I mean, if they have it, then we'll move on. They didn't have it. It's pretty good. Let's go Stoker. Pedal. Um, if I go for an LED off of this pedal, there's actually no chance to wind up echoing, even if it, cause if it hits Bobble, we don't have Metalcraft for Opal. If it hits Opal, we don't have Red to cast this Gamble, and if it hits Gamble, we don't have the Gamble to go get Echo. Um, the only way you can pull this off is if you gambled for... No, even then... Gamble for Echo here, and it hits Echo directly. You still don't have Metalcraft. So we're going to play these out. Um, we can't really bobble to see what's on top, and then, you know what I mean? Because then we can't use our Opal on their turn. Still think I'm going to bobble. Should I gamble first? Let's give ourselves a 50-50 to get an LED. So then we can just stoke her. Oh, man. Oh, that's dirty. If they have a counter, they got to be considering countering this. I guess not, or they don't have one. Okay. Wait, now do we bobble first? Still don't think so, because if we draw some bobbles, I'm going to want to use them. But now we have metal craft. I guess we can bobble right... Well, takes this potentially off of metal craft. So I'm just going to go. Relay? Oh, uh, shit. We need to hit mana off of this Metamorphose. It's pretty important. We did. Chromox was so dirty here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I guess I... Uh, I guess I use the baubles. If we draw into a bobble, we're going to want to use it on their turn. It's an underground sea. Okay. Big ol' fat relay... With Leyline in play, two permanents, couple... <laughs> yeah, they're just off it. Wow, that's a lot of Rite of Flame. And a Belcher. Ugh, this deck is so sweet. Um, okay. We saw Underground Sea, that's it. Could be Doomsday. 
could be... I mean, we dodged a couple of bullets there. They didn't have force, and then it seems as though they didn't have force, or they were unwilling to force the LED. Or the Manamorphose. There's no way. They would have countered something. So we got pretty lucky there. We can assume they're on tempo, and bring in the empty plan. Or we can assume they're on some sort of combo, and leave it. We can also just leave it, because we are on the draw. And it's still a pretty reasonable plan anyways. Whereas empty is really bad if they're on combo. Uh, can't keep this. Uh, this one's not great, but it's pretty good if we hit a red source. We're probably getting discarded, which is a bummer. I'm gonna keep it though. It doesn't feel great, but here we are. There are very real upsides to this card, and I think we're certainly seeing it this league. I think as they continue to print more and more powerful and disruptive cards, this card will become increasingly more important for combo. I've said it before many times, I say it every now and then, to reiterate, this card is the future of fast combo. I think it'll, like I said, become a requirement. I don't think anytime soon. We're kind of at that spot where there's a few decks that can leverage it, and it's you can make a reasonable argument that it is optimal. I think we've made that argument here. I do think it is. Uh, but very slowly, over time, it'll squeeze itself into more places. Okay, so we missed. We needed Petal, Chrome Ox, Spirit Guide, that's 12, LED... It's 16. Is that it? I think that's it. Ooh, that's not good. That's a Dothy Voidwalker. It's a bobble. At least we get to use it. And make a move on their turn, potentially. Turn initial red so I can do Stoker stuff. Come on. Let's see what they're going to draw. So there's a Force of Will in the mix. They're drawing Ponder. There is kind of a tempo deck. Animate Troll, okay. We go to 17. There's the initial red. And there's a bobble. Um, go right a flame. Do you force this? I'm going to gamble. Oh, that doesn't help. I'm forgetting about Voidwalker. I was trying to get another right of flame. Alright, so I guess we get LED. Alright, that's fine. I don't need to be playing this now. Every now and then I just forget about this card. I really do. I mean, obviously there's still problems here. I'm not happy that we discarded Bobble. The only potential draw for us here is another LED. We just put two oil counters, have one mana post stoker. It's still so unlikely to get there, but I think it's our only out. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Okay, so it is a tempo deck. I think we will benefit from the empty plan. So that means we're bringing all this in. And all these we need to cut nine cards. At least two belchers. Maybe more. Uh, sorry. Um, maybe we give up on Stokers. Or maybe it's like Gamble Echo. We just keep it linear with the empties and relays. Let's try that. Let's go. Let's cut three Echoes, four Gambles. What's Bergy and Grape Shot doing? Now that we have empty, I guess we don't have to play Grape Shot. Is Gamble better? I'm playing Echo. That's fine. Okay. We have lands, which is good. Let's try it. It's funny how often, because I've done this a lot, where you play these Belcher decks, and then you bring in soul lands afterwards, and you play the empties, as we are now. And it's incredible how often people still scoop to Belcher activation when you have lands in play. <laughs> like, activate Belcher with my ancient tombs, and they just concede on the spot, even though they're in whatever position, have 20 life, you know? Happens more often than you think. Alright, I'm going to keep this smashing in hand. He's I draw Chrome Mox. I'm going to want that. I have two other lands to play. I will cycle this bobble. Let me go to six. Oops. I guess we're chilling in the second main. Oh, uh, they have discard. Guess there's no reason to use the bobble. Use it now. I'm drawing a brainstorm. I predict they go turn one brainstorm grief you. Oh, already wrong. We did not get griefed. 
No ritual bowmaster shenanigans. Okay. Two, four, five, six. Metamorphose gets us echo. Hmm. Inconspicuous metamorphose. Blue. Blue. LED? Oh, man. That was a good draw. I gotta hope they don't have force of negation. We are definitely in a rough spot if they have force of negation. Uh, play LED. Do I even want to crack this? If I knew this was going to resolve, I would crack this and I would crack it for red. But I don't know that, so I'd be cracking it for blue. And then if we get force of negation, we're screwed. I'm just going to put it on the stack. This is probably going to get countered. Oh, they did have it. Jeez. Well, I'm glad I somewhat played around it. And I'm going to play around Bowmasters instead of Discard. Reanimate, okay. I mean, we still have a fair amount of resources. Brutal. Also brutal. I think the best thing we could draw here is Belcher. I'll just start slow belching them. Oh boy. Well, empty's not going to help. I'll say that. Not at this point. Empty is for either your opener or post echo. Okay, they played explosives and didn't use it? Not sure how I feel about that. That's a bowman. Mr. Jamerson has arrived. Three, four, five, you got a seven. Alright. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme a belcher. Belch? Come on. When I say belcher, I mean the belcher. We only have one belcher in our deck right now. I don't know why I cast that. I should have imprinted it. Really should have imprinted it. Well, at least we have this. We do not have this. <laughs> okay, they had another force. We died. Well, we got taken down. We are 2-1. and one. I'll see you in round 4. Alright, round 4. This hand is Leyline. Again, we're on the double play. Um, I'll keep it. I'll put Leyline into play. Question is, do I want a Stoker or do I want a Gamble? Stoker's a little bit more stable. Gamble potentially more explosive. Let's go for Gamble. I guess I didn't have to do this yet. <sighs> Again, I need to get used to the play patterns with this card. Because I can see what comes up on the other side of these baubles. I also could have just Gambled, but I th think it's worth seeing what's underneath these first. We might not have to take a gamble. We also get info. That's a ponder. And a Merc Tide. So it is tempo once again. So we gotta hope they don't have a force. Kind of a force check situation. Alright. 75% chance to hit. 25% chance to lose. Another 25% chance to uh, not be able to get additional mana. Best case, it hits Echo or Rite of Flame. Echo's absolute best. Or we just get wrecked. 100% wrecked. Just sent to the Shadow Realm. Hopefully they shuffle. They're thinking on it. I think we're doomed. Alright. We got nothing. They didn't shuffle on the Ponder. We we're falling very far behind. Very, very far behind. This is looking like Bug Beans. <sighs> I'd much rather not play against this deck. But here we are. Again. Hope he's fetching. Bowmasters? No bowmasters. I got the beans. Sanctuary pass. We got the spirit guides. <laughs> I mean, the way we get back into this game is Flamestoker. Maybe them misevaluating the deck or card and letting it resolve. Then we could put two oil counters, get four mana. Five. Uh -huh. Fetching. Probably get Witherbloom commanded. Leovold, oh boy. Hmm. We play double Spirit Guide, which doesn't beat a 3-3. I think we can pack it up. Okay. Um, probably better off with the empty plan. We do actually have to draw the card. Hmm. Bergy seems tough. I'm not sure I mind Belcher that much. We don't need the Grape Shot. Yeah, I don't mind a couple Belchers. I'll try to raise him with the slow belch. Alright, this is an all-in echo hand. I mean, I think I'm just gonna keep. Do I go for it? Maybe not? Probably not. This is looking better as, like, a empty into backup echo. Still guarantee we're 
I'm going to wind up getting the cards to do that. We've now taken ourselves off of Metalcraft. Maybe I should have just passed, not even played the bobble. I don't know. All right, mana source is good. All right, fetching. Need some action. Panda. Okay. Sorry, again, I forgot to put up the card description. I gotta get used to that. I have to I have to go into Streamlabs in between every round and re-click on the captured window. So stupid. All right, they shuffled. That's good. All right, what do we want? I actually want a soul land, which still means we're passing. That could potentially do it, but it's super risky. Like, super risky. There's just no way they're not countering Metamorphose. And it also has to hit some sort of mana source. Land a Wasteland if I don't go for it. I'm gonna go for it. There's a lot of things that get us the four mana here. They let it go. Uh, that works. Yeah, we don't even have to... I don't have to imprint. But if they counter LED or Opal, then we can't empty. But then we can Echo. Okay. I feel like this makes it look like we're not going to empty either by not imprinting here. Like, they're probably going to force this because they're worried about relay. And then we get to echo. And I probably should have just imprinted, right? Like, ooh, baby. I think it's probably correct to have just imprinted. Because it just guarantees that you can empty, and I think empty just flat out wins here. The question is, do we echo to make them use their force? Might have to pitch a cantrip that would otherwise find them something to deal with. Ooh, now we can follow up. Now we can likely follow up with this echo. They might have days. I don't think they do, though. They would have countered Rite of Flame or Metamorphose, right? We are putting them back on 7, but it's random 7, which certainly makes a difference. We don't have Metalcraft. We do have a very good next turn, though. I'm liking the chances of winning this game. But we still got to win game three. And we're not out of it just yet. We have engineered explosives. Collector roof is annoying, but we're fine. Now here's the question. Do we even empty? We won't have lethal if we don't. Oh, and there's another empty. So I'm, I'm going to do a mini empty, I think. Yeah. Mini empty is... Mini empty goes right of flame empty. We could have multiple dazes. That's fine. If they want to pick up two lands, that's fine. So I want to make sure I have a lethal attack next turn, but not commit everything to a sweeper. Oh, I should have calculated what Bowmasters does to this situation. So Bowmasters kills one, blocks two. Oof blocks one, they take exactly nine. So they have to do better than that. Yep, we're in. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Collector Oof. Do I want to bring in the Grape Shot? We otherwise have nothing. Yeah. Let's play it in place of one of the Belchers. Probably also means I should play Bergy. Just don't play these Belchers. Bergy's a, a way to still do stuff, even with a Null Rod or Collector Roof in play. Um, I'm going to keep this. It has problems, but those problems are immediately fixed by a Soul Land. And I think I can just go like one bobble at a time. Try and get there. All right, just give me the Ancient Tomb, please. What do we have, five soul lands? Six? I think five. Come on. Come on. That's really close. Okay, we we shock it in. We play Stoker. It's a reader, folks. All right, it's in. I'm going to play one bobble. I'm going to look at top of my deck. It's a pedal. Okay, that's very good. We're just going to pass. We're going to hope and pray they don't have Collector Roof. We're going to hope and pray. Okay, they don't. Now we got to hope they don't have Fluster Storm. Soul Land? Right of Flame. All right, let's go pedal. The nice thing is, at the end of all this, we're still going to have a Stoker. We're going to have kind of a sad Bergy. I don't think we're supposed to try to get Bergy in there. Like, if it, if it works, it just wins the game, right? Like completely unhindered this hand is absolutely nuts you play bergy here and then go one two three four five mana and you'd have three four five six uh oil counters <laughs> you could still play opal i bet you they hmm i bet you they counter opal 
if I play it after bobble, and then I can go for the pedal. Maybe I was supposed to put bobble after opal to make it a little more juicy. I still think they're countering this. They pitched a stifle at one point, I think, which is not cool. You know they're forcing this. The nice thing is if they force, they probably don't have stifle, right? If you have stifle, you just let this go. You don't think about it, right? I mean, it's moto. There's no guarantee your opponent's thinking when you think they're thinking. I think that they are thinking. No, oh, that's my, you know, gut feeling. Yes. Yes. Pitching days. I love it. Pitching days. If they have a days here, we are in trouble-ish. Uh-oh. Or they have something to kill Stoker? I think they're killing Stoker. That'd be even better. Come on, hardly know her. Yeah. You know they're dazing. Oh. That's extreme. That I'm okay with. And we get to see the last card? Exactly. I'm gonna play this Bergy. Most likely. It's a Bowmasters? Really? How stupid is that? Alright. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Because now they can kill Stoker. No! That was a bad play. I just punted so hard. Oh my god. I mean, it's nice we have Bergy in play. We still have a reasonable chance to win here. I just... I Total brain fart on that. Yikes. To be fair, we didn't have a great play either way. Um, okay. I think we're favored here. If they kill Bergy, we're not. Question will be... How many tokens do I want? You can make eight. Is eight enough? Definitely no guarantee that eight is enough. <sighs> this is tough. I'm going to try to get more. They have two cards. They're attacking. All right, so they're signaling another Bowmasters. Yep. It's not targeting a goblin token. I like that. And it's not like they get another orc army. And now we can... Ooh. -hoo. We have one, two... Three, four. That's a tough call. I can kill these things. But neuter is my empty. I can hold it. Let's attack. Like, do I wait for a turn that I can smashing and empty? I feel like that's asking for too much. I would need too much mana. Oh, this right flame is bigger than I'm thinking. So it's three, four, five. We're going to have six. We can cast this for Storm and not target. We can also just use just the Rite of Flame, kill their two Bowmasters. I, th I think I'm going to wait, though. Now that we have more mana, it's not going to... Like, a Petal, a Rite of Flame, uh, an Opal. These are all things that give us enough mana to smash both Bowmasters and make a bunch of tokens. They're swinging out. That's fine. Echo's not great, but... I can imprint it with Chromox. I think that makes us one off from what I want to do. I think I can kill one Bowmasters. We have one, two, three, imprint four, five, six, seven. I can smashing for... Oh, no, I can do it. I can do it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Smashing X equals two costs four. Then we get the rebate effectively three, down to four for the empty. I love it. I love it. Let's play around days. They could days at the end so that we can't empty. But let's see how they react. Shatter Skull Smashing, baby. Spell Pierce would be a bummer, but then it's more Storm, so it's not the end of the world. Play a Chrome Mox. Their last card is Stifle. I will cry. All right, this is what we've been waiting for. Um, We also could have looked. I'm going to look. It's a Force of Will. Which don't do anything here. I think we got them. We get to get in for three. And now they're getting punished for swinging out. Now, even if they trade, they go down to one. And or they can't use Misty Rainforest. I feel like they're going to use it, though, awkwardly. Oh, right. So they're going to ponder. Ew. They can find, um... What's it called? Uh, the enchantment... Shuffle, 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 shuffle. They shuffled. Scoop, 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 scoop. Rainstorm, okay. Well, now they have to find land and... Oh my god. 
I can't believe I can't think of the deed. Pernicious deed. All right, we got him, man. We beat Scam. That's awesome. All right, we're three and one. I'll see you in the final round. Okay, here we are in the final round, and we have an aggressive hand that we are definitely keeping. Playing against Puka Be Like. How Puka Be Like? And the draw is Spirit Guide. That's fine. We have one, two, three, six. We can't actually gamble for another Echo to double Echo. That's actually kind of a bummer. Um, huh. I think I'm supposed to wait on this one. The problem is this deck is not nearly as good as the Epic Gamble at dealing with a uh, Bowmasters. Like, we have a Grape Shot. I guess we have the Gambles that can potentially find the Grape Shot. But, all right, that's a Wasteland. I still think I'm supposed to wait. Just to wait until I can threaten double Echo. Oh, or that. There's some sort of double threat, you know? So lethal into Echo. They have no black, so we don't have to worry about Bowmasters. I like that. Definitely like that. We take those. Now I'm just going to imprint this gamble. Gives us more mana. We can play around days. We can probably even get them to cast days. <laughs> okay. Uh, cute. Very cute. Let's go right a flame. LED. Play Belcher. So if they daze this, what do we do? They don't. They force it. And now we echo. Not the greatest spot, but hey, that's what happens when they have force and stifle. And we drew trash. That's not good. We drew garbage. We are in dire need of a lion's eye diamond. Or at least the petal here. We need help. Come on. Bobble. Well, close enough. Let's go right a flame. Stoker. It's a reader, folks. Gamble, I'm going. You can't stop me. Really bummer is I cannot activate this if we fail. We're dead to a lot of things here. I feel like this is a brainstorm. Yep. Alright. But the hand was just so bad. I think we have to take this risk. Because if this goes, then we're way ahead. Ugh. Drawing a delta. Okay. Well, now our only chance is activating Flamestoker. And they've got a full grip. They got a bowman. Yeah, that's... We'll see what I draw here, but that's pretty much it. We can't not activate Bobble, you know. Pedal's not the worst, but we're not... This one's done. This one's done. Those weren't bad draws if they didn't have bowman. Mr. Jamerson strikes again. Okay, a couple echoes can go. Belchers go. Ley lines go. Gambles go go and and grape shot's not bad though i guess is the only thing could trim a bobble but i feel like it's really important to have all of these zeros to get moxopole consistent maybe it's less important when we have access to more initial red sources and soul lands although active opal with soul land is pretty good i'll just trim a metamorphose it's not exactly great against them Hmm, maybe it is just better than Echo, though. It's pretty good with Empty. I think the key to Manamorphose is casting it early on in your sequence. Alright, we're gonna just wipe them up with this one. If you cast Manamorphose early in your sequence, one, they're much less likely to counter it, and two, if they do counter it, you haven't blown your whole hand. The problem is oftentimes you have to cast spells, Chromoxin, Opals a petal or bobble to turn your opal on, whatever it is, and then you waste your storm count. Yeah. They never see the ancient tomb coming out of the Belcher deck. <laughs> uh, they don't. They never see it coming, and they shouldn't. There's no reason why they should see it coming. <laughs> uh, unless, if, unless you've specifically seen my Belcher decks, they're going to be forced to force one, or just scoop. Yeah, that's... We're done here. Let's see if we can do that again. Uh, I gotta love when a plan comes together actually perfectly. Okay. I mean, this hand gets really good, as usual, if we draw an Ancient Tomb. I'm beginning to think that some number of Shatter Skull Smashing should be City. Just so we have a higher chance of drawing Soul Lands. Wobble. That's not terrible. 
I mean, I think we go for a relay here. Can we imprint the grape shot? It could be of use, especially if, if we go for an empty line. Yeah, I think it's going to be more useful than Stoker. Stoker at this point is a liability with Bowmasters. In fact, maybe I'm just supposed to be playing. I don't know. None of these are great options against them. Uh, so we go Bobble. It's not a spectacular relay, but that's what we got. LED Chromox Relay Stoker. It's not bad. It's not too bad. We really, really want to draw a Soul Land and some other mana. It's not what that is. Because if they counter LED here, we are in trouble. We might even be in trouble either way. Now, if they slam Null Rod or Collect Roof here, then, you know. Yup. Whatever. Ugh, we hit a pedal. Would have been great. What a stupid card. Alright, so now we're looking for Shatter Skull Smashings and Spirit Guides. I'd say we are probably in the, like, 5 to 10% range. That has potential to help. If I can hit a Spirit Guide... Oh, gross. Don't care about Wasteland. Merktide's kind of scary. Mm, Merktide's very scary. This sucks. This card sucks, dude. They have Brainstorm and Ponder. They had a Wasteland anyways. Ah. Okay. Well, now we're on the hunt for a Spirit Guide. Force of Vigored, huh? Sorry if I missed that. They, they Force of Vigored on... End step. That's a bummer. No shuffle. So, so far this league, we beat Tempo once, we lost to it once, and we are probably about to lose this. They have been close. We draw an opal. Ooh. That's fine. Kind of a waste, honestly. They have four cards. I have faith. We could pull it off. We draw a soul and we play it. They sit on their wasteland. We play Smashing. We get to play Bergy. If they don't have anything, we can then Grape Shot into Empty easily. So we're at 12. They got Beans. And another Opal is not it. Uh, I guess I'll put it into play. We're running out of time. That was one of the worst draws in the deck. Okay. Bowmasters accelerates the clock, I think. <sighs> We're probably done here. Or we've been probably done for quite some time, but even more so. I think we've dropped down to like the 2% range. Maybe less. Alright, I mean, something. The problem is we have to play Smashing untapped. Uh, yeah. I think that leaves us with no outs. Or we go to 3, so we can't play it untapped. I mean, it's possible I was supposed to play the Smashing... A turn earlier. I can accept that. That that's probably true. We had a manamorphose, yeah, that wouldn't have done it anyways. Okay. Well, the turn before we were about to pop off they played a collector roof. We basically lost the collector roof in both of the matches. So I'd say all in all, it was pretty successful, and I think that league certainly displayed the raw power. Um, but no rod effects are brutal. Uh, the problem with Shattering Spree is, one, it doesn't kill Collect Roof, and two, you can't bring it in against Tempo to try and hit Null Rod anyways. I mean, Bug isn't playing Null Rod, they're playing Collect Roof, but let's say you're playing against Grixis or whatever. Uh, you don't even know if they're playing Null Rod. Or if they are, if they're only playing one, it's just, like, almost always going to be a blank card. But the idea is you go under them, right? You play the empties, kind of like we, oh, we won game two. So, close matches. <laughs> this was a blast. We had a number of turn one kills. We had a number of turn zero kills. I think the highlight for me was when we killed our opponent on turn one in response to their Archon of Amiria. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good stuff. With a lethal grape shot on the st uh, stack, and at the bottom of the stack is an Archon of Amiria. I mean, that is just beautiful. Chef's kiss. But hey, I want to thank B3 Money, a.k.a. Brandon, for sending in this Dono deck and giving me the dealer's choice to go with whatever Belcher deck I enjoy the most. It is most definitely this one. So try it out. 
And again, please check out my Patreon and new podcast. Links will be in the description below. But that's it for me, guys. See y'all next time.